Welcome back to another episode of Al's Kitchen, all my budding chefs out there. Thank you so much for watching the last episode, which was the authentic Pakistani chicken karai. Can you believe it's up to nearly 70,000 views and that's all thanks to you. An authentic curry cooked in 30 minutes. So I've been working hard to be putting more material out that you can be doing in quick time, like 30 minutes, and this is where we are today. Today's recipe is gonna be a Punjabi chicken curry. It's actually Tariwala chicken curry. Tari meaning thin, wala meaning gravy. So thin gravy. I'm gonna thicken it up a little because I like my curries not too thin, but it's gonna be a lovely, delicious, authentic curry. And yes, cooked in 30 minutes. I feel in a Guinness mood today. What are you drinking? Cans have those little widgets in them so you get that nice frothy top. Let that settle. Right, so let's focus our attention on this week's curry masterclass. So let's go through the ingredients that you'll need. Well, first of all, I've made a base out of four medium onions. So what you wanna do is just roughly chop your onions up and throw them into like a canister. You're gonna throw that um, eight cloves of garlic and a two inch piece of ginger. It's about 40 grams of ginger, 30 grams of garlic, fresh garlic. And what you're gonna do is work vigorously with your hand blender or any blender that you have and be vigorous with it, keep chomping down, chomping down, and what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to produce a nice blended onion base. And that's what's gonna be the base for today's curry. Nice and easy, not too difficult, anybody can do it. We're gonna be using six cardamom pods, an inch piece of cinnamon stick, two black cardamoms, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, six cloves, one bay leaf. We've got um, about eight tablespoons of oil here. Right, so that's the first section of the cook here. And then we're gonna go on to the mid section. I've got one kilo of fresh chicken thigh. You can use breast or mini fillets. This is um, chicken thigh, boneless, no bones. And all I've done is I've added six tablespoons of Greek yogurt, two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and two teaspoons of tandoori masala powder. And all we're gonna do with this is just mix it through the yogurt to make a nice yogurt paste, throw the chicken in there, leave it for around 30 minutes, or however long, even if it's 10 minutes, it's better than nothing. Right here we've got six tablespoons of tomato puree. I've added just a little water so it pours out nice and easy. We've got four teaspoons of coriander powder alongside three teaspoons of cumin powder and I have two tablespoons of Kashmiri chilli powder. Now I've said it in the past on my social media and I'm not affiliated in any way that this chilli powder is the real deal. It's a mild Kashmiri chilli powder. It's really mild. You can use a lot of it without it being hot and it gives you a nice red staining in your curries. Just a bit like turmeric does where it stains things yellow. This stains things red. Anyway, we've got two tablespoons of that and it's really gonna give the curry a nice color and flavor. Well, our finishing spices are half a teaspoon of garam masala, two teaspoons of kasuri methi, and half a teaspoon of amchur powder, which is dried mango powder. Now, if you haven't got this, don't worry about it. It's not a deal breaker. The curry will still be absolutely excellent. Okay, so let's fire up our pans. Right, first in goes the oil. Let's put the timer on. I said 10 minutes, didn't I? Um, the first 10 minutes. Right, let's put the oil in. The first 30 seconds, we're gonna fry the whole spices. Season that oil up, get that pop in. Right, now you wanna stay with this when we put our onion blending. And remember, it's got garlic and ginger in it. Well, we wanna be cooking this for around eight, nine minutes. So right, I'll be back in eight, nine minutes, see what's going on with our base. Myself and Spicy Joe, Nigel at Spicy Joe's, we've been working hard to come up with some more blends. So rather than you go through my, my BIR recipes and have to get all the ingredients together, we have done it all for you. We've got Madras curry spice mix, we've got Dan Sack, we have got, what have we got here? We've got authentic Balti blend. We have got Vindaloo spice, the five spice Vindaloo. 
We've got Tika restaurant style mix and the Karai spice mix from last week, the special authentic Karai. So the work's all been done for you. So get over to Spicy Joe's. I'll be leaving the link in the description box below and you can take even more headache out of making curry by getting your spices and just throwing in your curries. You'll have the blends that you need, all the work's been done. Right, so that's the 10 minutes up. Let's see where we're at. Now I've been with this for the whole time, um, just cooking it down. Stay with it, do not leave it. You don't want it to burn. And I did add a splash of water. So I have some water on the side ready, just in case it burns, just to loosen things up. I didn't use more than 100 mil. Um, just use what you need to. The worst thing that can happen is it burns. Right, second stage. Right, so in goes the tomato puree and the coriander and the cumin powder and the cashmere chili powder. Right, let's mix all that through. Just gonna add a little splash of water to loosen things up. See, look at that nice masala base. There we go. Look at that. That is now the base all nicely amalgamated. Now we're gonna add our chicken and coat all this lovely chicken in that base. All that yogurt that's been on the chicken will then start to go into the curry over time. So what we want to do is coat the chicken in that lovely base. Right, once that's covered, we're going to add 500 ml of water. Now this has come from the kettle, this water. So I'm not bringing the temperature down of the curry. Right, right gently massage the chicken and dissolve the base. Right, get in there, be patient with it. There we go, I mean that's looking lovely already. Now we've mixed all that through, we're going to put the lid on, put that down for 10 minutes. A low to medium heat, just so it's bubbling away. I will come back at five minutes just to check everything's ticking over nicely, but it's gonna be 10 minutes on the clock. See you in 10. Stage 10 minutes up. Let's see what we've got. Look at that, lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the lovely vibrant colors. All the oil has risen to the top. Let's turn that in. See, the, the gravy is nice and thin, but I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit. So this is the final stage. This is the last 10 minutes. Do you remember what I said about the last 10 minutes? It's the perfecto zone. So I'm gonna stick another 10 on, and this is just to reduce it down to your desired consistency. Now, you might be happy with that as it is, but remember the chicken's only been cooking for 10 minutes. So you need another 10, even on very low, to cook the chicken through. And we need to add our finishing spices. So now I'm gonna add in the garam masala finishing spice, amateur powder, which is the dried mango, and the kusuri methi, which I'm gonna put into my hand, and I'm gonna rub it nice, so it goes nice and fine. That is an absolutely gorgeous curry, remember, this will feed between four and six people, depending on portion size. Remember, we added the two teaspoons of salt in with the chicken marinade. So if it needs any salt, I want you to do it to taste because everyone's different. Some people like things a little more salty, some less. Right, so I'll be back in 10. I'll be checking it on five and we'll garnish it with some beautiful coriander. Now, back again, we've got uh, three minutes on the clock. So it's been cooking for around 27 minutes, give or take. And look at that, beautiful. The gravy's nice and rendered down. It's caramelizing around the edges, you know, just like when you do a BIR curry. And the oil's risen to the top. Now, I'll tell you a secret. If you add extra hot chili powder to this, do you know what you got, really? You've actually got a madras. So if you like madras and you want to cook a lot of it, do the Punjabi Tariwala chicken curry. Two minutes on the clock, turn all that lovely luscious curry in, add some nice freshly chopped, 
chopped, chopped, I'm not drunk, coriander. Let it snow the coriander. And you know what, look, I even got time to kill. See, I ain't lying. Let me show you on the um, camera the light. Isn't that beautiful, look at that. That's absolutely stunning. Right, let's dish up and set the scene for the taste test. Do you know what? I'm feeling rather romantic this evening, so I'm going to create a dinner for me and you. Right, let's dish this baby up. Oh, I can't wait for this. Absolutely gorgeous. Pan of shake, sprinkle on some nice fresh coriander. Let's turn the lights down. It won't be romantic without candlelight, would it? Me and 60,000 other people sharing dinner. I'm feeling a bit hot. This is a bit intimate, isn't it? Right, so let's go in for a nice bit of chicken. Mmm. Chicken is so tender. And a bit of, oh my god, that is absolutely divine. I'm not just saying it. Anyway, I'm going to say that this is a lovely romantic dinner. I'm out, I'm loving life, I'm loving creating YouTube content. I'm really glad that you enjoy watching it, but let me know by liking and subscribing. If you let, am I drunk again? If you make this curry, let me know. Leave a comment in the description below. Join The Secret Curry Club facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash secret curry club anyway i'm gonna enjoy this little baby i've enjoyed your company this evening i hope you've enjoyed mine i'm out and i'm out of here that's absolutely gorgeous mm.